Welcome back to Squawk on the Street and the Friday rendition of the Santelli Exchange. Hey, I never met a Friday I didn't like. There's always a little optimism on the trading floors on Friday. And there's a lot of optimism probably by the traveling citizens of the United States. And hopefully this will be the last time I talk about the sequester and its effects on transportation. But the final tombstone, yesterday uh, we had a very busy senator on in the afternoon, Senator Tom Coburn, Republican, Oklahoma, and he brought up some very enlightening facts. Uh, I'd like to read the first one, of course, and that is, this is in regard to a letter he wrote, uh, Mr. LaHood, the Transportation Secretary. Sequestration has been in effect for 54 days, and it has been 49 days since I first wrote regarding the Federal Aviation Administration's plan for implementing sequestration. To date, no substantive response to those concerns has been provided. I'll tell you what, you know, there's Tom and there's 99 other senators. I think senators' letters ought to be recognized, but maybe more importantly, here's what the senator himself said as to the reasons he believed the letters weren't answered. Run the tape. Well, they're not answering the letters because they, they can't justify what they're doing. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, that that's obviously one senator's opinion, but it certainly seems to fit. And after that interview on the telephone, he told me we're going to run this thing through the Senate tonight. We're going to run it through the House, in his opinion, today, which would have been yesterday, tomorrow, and probably could be on the president's desk by today. So far, he seems to be correct on pretty much all of that, and we hope that it all gets rectified. Now, we had GDP annualized rate 2.5%. It disappointed a bit. Let's take a walk back through time. We've had three GDPs that have had a 3% or higher growth rate since the financial crisis, and here they are, Q409, Q411, and Q3 of 12. And the reason I bring this up is because we've been there, done that. Uh, I think in the words of, you know, Al Arian about a new normal, or as I used to saw, call it, a new equilibrium, new normal fits better, that this is actually par for the course. Now, what happened there? What were the issues? Well, you know, whether you have fiscal cliff, the changes in tax policy, they all affect investors, they affect inventory, they affect behavior, and I think try to average out 0.4 annualized Q4 and what we're looking at at two and a half. There's another issue. You know, when you make a cupcake, the three main ingredients are what? Baking powder, flour, and eggs. We continue to see a boatload of stories on austerity. And believe me, austerity is a lot like a cupcake. If you don't have pro-growth economic reforms, pro-growth tax reforms, and a curtailing of spending, you don't get a good cupcake, you don't get a good economy. In either case, you need all the ingredients. Let's be fair with the philosophy of what the world needs to make itself healthier. Uh, Simon, back to you. Growth, indeed, growth it is. Rick, thank you very much. Big day here on CNBC.